Okay guys, I'm back. What I've done is uh, I've cut a piece of glass. This is uh, 25 centimeters by 40. So it's pretty big. And I have mixed a little bit of resin with a tiny little bit of mica pigment. And here in this, I'm going to add um, some really bright glitter. Because I'm gonna do the central part of this uh, of this pour, and I'm gonna see if that glitter is gonna pop up. Yeah, it will. Don't want too much of it though, because you want to keep it a little bit in the middle, a little bit um, just calm, not too much. So I'm gonna start pouring. And of course I have warmed it up just a little bit because my studio is so cold. But I'm going to be pouring it very, very slowly because I don't want anything to move as of yet. And this is just the first layer so that everything is fixated on the, uh, on, on the glass sheet. As you can see, I'm outlining it pretty much so that everything's going to stick on there. There it goes. All in between the little beads and uh, everything I've put in there, a little mosaic. Everything's going to get a... Wow, don't know what that was, but... That was some serious noise. So as you can see, everything's sort of fixated on the uh, on the glass pane as we do this. But it's transparent enough to show all the little beads. So that's something that you'll have to work out if you're gonna make something like this, that you don't want it to be um, too opaque that you don't see all the beads sort of doing their thing underneath. So we're going to give it a little bit more up here. There it is. And then the rest of it I'm going to pour right smack down the middle. And up here a little bit more. There it is. Now this is going to sink in, especially when I uh, take off, you know, uh, use the torch to get out the bubbles. You'll see it clear up a little bit more. That's about all of it. And I can't make it too hot because otherwise the uh, little glitters will sort of uh, melt into the resin and we don't want that. Now I'm uh, going for my next uh, batch of uh, resin so I'll be back in a splash. Okay we're back and we have our next batch and this one I'm going to pour all around because I'm going to um, use something to pull pull it together but it is uh, a choice to make it into two different colors so there's something going on there I do like that as you can see you could really leave it exactly like it is right now because this is uh, really pretty um, I also was thinking about dropping something in there like alcohol ink, but I'm not sure what that's going to do. So you would, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. First, uh, the little bubbles. 
There we go. And then I am going to go for a, a little comb, as you can see. And we're going to pull that out. And by doing that, I don't know if you have experience uh, of doing um, the mica shift when using polymer clay, but what you're seeing here is something sort of the same. Um, it's because you pull it and all the little mica flakes go in one direction and they lay there and they give that a really beautiful um, look about it so that's kind of uh, different now it's pretty much incorporated into each other those two colors so I'm gonna make sure I do the rest of it all along the border There it is, gotta be slow about this. Don't wanna do this hastily, don't wanna do that. Okay, so we got that all figured out. And you still see a really slight little movement. And if you like that movement, you can always play with that. Just give it a little bit more. And of course we want to do the same on the other side. So that's giving it a really a nice texture. And right now I'm going to go for my last layer. And this one has to fill the whole, the whole window. Oh, I might like this too, a little bit more at the edges that it goes a little bit crazy. That's sort of nice. But you can absolutely see where it is um, thicker or thinner. That's where you can see where the, um, the color is more transparent. But we're gonna work this out just a little bit more. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is the last um, that I'm gonna put on I hope I hope I have enough for everything so this is a, a deeper color because I want the outsides to be just a little bit more darker than the uh, inside And it's really starting to look like something, uh, something of an underwater color. I, l I really like the color. So let's see. Now, getting my little comb again because I'd like to comb it a little bit. And of course, I want to do the sides because I have been, uh, I grinded the glass on the side so there's no, no sharpness at all. But when you do that, it also sort of, um, I don't know how you call it, it's sort of sand, sandy looking. So when you pour, the good thing to do is get some uh, of your resin on your finger and just swipe the sides like this and then you won't see it uh, at all. You can avoid it if you have really good equipment to um, sand down the sides and then go from the um, most coarse and then go finer and finer and finer but that is a lot of work and I'm not sure you know if it's worth it so all I do is rub my finger along the side and make sure that there's resin on there and another thing that it does is a sort of um, fixates the whole resin thing onto the uh, onto the glass 
because now it wraps around and everything that is too much on the bottom you can just cut away with a exacto knife something like that okay I think we got it all covered because this one I want to make a base for it I want to uh, make something that I can stick this into and put it in front of a window that's um, that's been in my mind a lot I won't use this I'm gonna go for a more freestyle sort of thing see how I'm pulling this down and there will be a very slight you will see this in a very slightly manner you know it won't be too obvious when you do this because uh, when it's all dry it'll just show you a tiny little bit of these swirly things on the side just to make it a little bit interesting there it goes and for people that like the whole you know just flat look that's okay you can just skip this part but I like to do a little bit extra just to see you know to make it more organic looking something like that okay now it's sort of pulling all together this is nicely um, very transparent on the top even though it has little pieces of glitter here and there that's perfectly fine for me because then it sort of you know tugs it pulls it all together that's the look I, I really like just let's leave that there don't touch it Henry okay I think this is it guys so um I will give you a look once it's uh, there's going to be oh I do have to torch it uh, they're not going to be holes put in because I'm going to get one of those wood bases and then um, make one of those slits where I can put the glass in so that's the idea of it all I am going to make sure that it's all the bubbles are out But of course not too hot because otherwise my little glitters will all disappear okay now what you're seeing here are drips on the uh, on the bottom but I'm gonna leave them because you just want to leave them in place and then cut them away later and uh, I might show you because that's kind of satisfying to watch <laughs> and the sides are nicely covered maybe a little bit more here And I'm going to put this one away and I have some more stuff to show you guys because I've there's so much that happened this week but I'm gonna put this uh, away and let it dry like this there'll be some dripping but you can't avoid that so always make sure you put it on something that the drips can fall on but there's a lot of stuff going on here the glitters are absolutely amazing uh, I put in a couple of colors together and it just pops you know it just makes it all come together so I'm really happy about that um, I am now looking eh, that's okay let's just leave it as is so thanks for watching this bit I'm gonna clean this all up and then come back and show you um, the pours I did yesterday I'm gonna show you the pours I did last weekend and I am going to show you a different type of pouring because I bought something that I'm gonna pour out of so a lot of stuff coming up see you all in a bit love you all to pieces